EVs, electric vehicles, are about to become more expensive. Anyway, while you're here, please boot the old like button and welcome to All Shorts. And what the hell am I on about? No, it's not because the insuring of a Tesla Cybertruck is about to become considerably more expensive, around four times. No. It's because the European Union and Turkey have decided to apply tariffs on EVs from China. The BYD, electric vehicle, which apparently is a very good car. But you see, tariffs shouldn't really be an issue, according to Donald Trump. Donald Trump said, one of his rallies, that it won't be you that pay the tariffs, it will be them, they'll be paying the tariffs. Well, you know as well as I do, if you apply a tariff, which is a cost on any vehicle entering uh, the European Union or the United States or anywhere, well then, quite frankly, it's always the end users, the one who pays. So that statement is a bit moronic, if you ask me. But you see, the European Union has applied tariffs of 35.3%. Turkey have applied ta uh, tariffs of 40% on all electric vehicles entering their country. I think the, uh, the uh, European Union is up to 35.3% to be more accurate. But this is <laughs> this has triggered a response from uh, China. Obviously, they've retaliated, and as such, they've decided to uh, apply tariffs on imported uh, brandy from the EU. And France has decided to uh, make a well a complaint to um, the WTO, the World Trade Organization. Yes, they've been getting a lot of complaints uh, about this tariff on their brandy. They said it's unfounded. Or, you know, uh, it's, it's, you know it's unfair or whatever. But China's also uh, <laughs> uh, wrote a letter of complaint to the WTO saying it's unfair uh, for the European Union to apply these tariffs. They've also said the same about Turkey. So this WTO is going to have a lot to deal with, with well, obviously Turkey, the European Union, uh, and obviously China since they're the ones, uh, well, they've instigated, in the, the day, the European Union and, uh, and it's been, uh, has applied these new tariffs on Chinese motor vehicles. It's been supported by um, uh, 10 European Union member states. And I think they include, uh, there we go, there we go, some 10 members, including France, Italy, Poland, have all supported um, imposing tariffs of up to 35.3%. <laughs> uh, this is coming on top of the existing 10% duties. So, <laughs> these are say they're not happy. The thing about the BYDs is heavily subsidised uh, by Beijing. And it makes it, well, unfair competition. Hmm. Now, I don't know about you, I remember during the Brexit debate... The Brexit is telling us about sovereignty and all that, you know. <laughs> Britain first and that, you know. And when it comes down to it, the actual, one of the chiefs of the uh, WTO, he made a statement saying, well, actually, yeah, being in the WTO is like uh, being, uh, you know, come down the leagues and, and football, you know. You're better off having a deal with the European Union directly, like being a member like we were. But, you know, they had none of it, did they? They still voted to leave the European Union. And as such, we are in a much better, worse place because of it. Uh, it, it it's beggar's belief, it really does. And it's... Um, it, <sighs> so we've got all these crazies out there. You've got the, Nigel Farage's the world. He spouted all these lies, made all these promises. We're going to get this, that, and the other. So did Boris Johnson. All lies... Promising stuff that they could not deliver, such as the 350 million quid on the side a week for the NHS on the side of it, written on the side of a big red bus. You got not, Donald Trump or have you promising that um, that you won't be paying tariffs, which you clearly will be paying tariffs. There's already tariffs on various stuff entering the country, and in the end of the day, you pay for it. But I understand, you see, it's, you, they're trying to protect their own markets. If they produce motor vehicles themselves. Why would they want a foreign motor vehicle company coming into the country, one outside of the European Union, uh, putting all the car manufacturers out of business? 
Why would they want that? Nobody's going to want that. You need to promote your own industries first and discourage other industries entering the country when it doesn't actually give, well, it doesn't increase your own industry. Unless they start building the BYDs in Europe, well, then you're not going to be able to avoid these, these import tariffs. And the more we buy from China, we buy too much stuff from China already. And all we're doing is sucking out our asset values and uh, basically our, our bank balance from the European Union or from the United Kingdom or from wherever these you know, Chinese products are ending up out of the country and provide you little or no benefit. We need to protect what's here. Encourage industry to invest in the country or countries, but discourage them from... St- well, bleeding the countries and all the European Union dry. It, it, to me, it's not rocket science. There needs to be a balance, obviously. But cu- currently, it's well, it's geared towards China. We buy too much stuff, have too much stuff manufactured in China. We send, you know, we design stuff in the United Kingdom or in the EU, and then we send it to China for them to make us a prototype and tell us how much it's going to cost to make. We don't make anything hardly. And we're wondering why the countries are getting poorer and poorer and poorer. It's not rocket science. We need to be encouraging, uh, well, local, local produ- national production. Which also provides jobs, well-paying jobs. Instead of just sales outlets and sales jobs. Because that's kind of what we're doing. And then one services industry, that's another kettle of fish. That's going to be hit hard next year with, uh, the, well, getting rid of uh, our ability to clear the euro, for instance. That's going to hit hard, I'm sure. I doubt that's going to be uh, renegotiated. Apparently they're ready. So we'll see, we'll see. They might not be, you know, so the last minute, that was, you know, we need to rethink this. You don't know, you know, they keep changing their minds. Well, they can, the United Kingdom constantly change their minds because since they've... Uh, decided to uh, delay uh, standards again on in, uh, on imports coming into the country which and uh, yeah and, and um, on exports as well for um look yeah, businesses in the United Kingdom are kicking off because they don't know where they stand you can't last minute just change the rules and expect industry to be able to um, follow they're already set up they plan ahead you see. So, well, okay, let's just, just, just review what's happened. Tariffs in the EU on BYDs. Tariffs have been applied by, um, in Ankara with Turkey. Uh, as such, uh, China has decided to write letters to WTO to complain about these new tariffs, saying it's, you know, it's not legal. And uh, uh, they've also countered by applying tariffs on brandy in, uh, in France. God's sake. And in, in across the whole of the EU. Uh, France is now writing letters to the WTO saying this isn't right either, and the EU are as well. And it's it's just it's just gonna get worse. You know, there's tit for tat, it's just gonna get worse. Anyway, what say you? Was this to be expected? Even though um car manufacturers in, in the EU, such as German car manufacturers, because they export to China quite a lot, they just thought they didn't want this um tariff to come in in Germany. No. But it has. Anyway, you tell me, please leave it in the comments down below, because I always read the comments, I can't always respond, but I do learn from you as well, so it's quite interesting. So, yeah, boob it, oh, like button, would be most kind, and uh, if you want to support the channel, you can do it on Patreon to buy us coffee, we're also planting trees here in France, planting thousands of trees on two hectares of land, and um, we're very excited about it, because we started planting again now, so it's, uh, yeah, putting trees in the ground, what we do is we'll put a tree in the ground on your behalf, if there's a link down below, you can follow, and um, I'll make a sign to go with that tree, and it can be a name, of, uh, it could just be your name, or memory of a loved one, what have you, uh, or it could be a present for Christmas, you know, so instead of sending a card, maybe, you know, and chopping trees down, you know. One billion trees. No, so, no sorry, for every... We send one billion Christmas cards every single year, it gets right. And 
To produce those Christmas cards, we chop down 35 million trees. Every single year. How mad is that? Toodaloo.